What about this video? I miss old World of Warcraft. In the 20 years that World of Warcraft has been a game for, there have been numerous players who have created characters, explored the world of Azeroth, and have written their own story in the game forever. Whether it be exploring yes. zones for the first time, reaching max level for the first time, trying their hand at dungeons or battlegrounds or raiding, to the people who enjoy transmog collecting or mount farming or professions or gold making. It's fascinating to really step back and think, wow, so many other people have enjoyed the same game that I like to play over the near two decades since it's existed. And then you really begin to this think about haircut, the brother. people behind the screen and what stories they have, who got them into the game, what year was it? Is this person a recent player, somebody who's just picked up the game over the past like two or three years, or has this person been playing since 2004? As WoW is an MMORPG, people mainly got into it through word of mouth, whether it be friends playing together or, in my instance, family getting me into the game. It was something that resonated with me. You have one guild member that he's a generational WoW player. His parents were playing classic and were playing retail even. And he, they got him into, wow, how cool is that? And I really just began to think about it. But it really didn't sit in until I was able to go to my first BlizzCon, which was last year. Now, I didn't have any friends. I didn't have any group that I was going to meet in particular. I just went as a solo convention enjoyer. But as I walked through the World of Warcraft hall, and I got to really take a look around at all the other people around me who were wearing World of Warcraft t-shirts of their favorite class and... Wearing the little stupid murloc hats that I actually have one right next to me right now, but that, that's beside the point. I do feel this sort of nostalgia for World of Warcraft in this strange way where I do miss the old WoW. Now don't get me wrong, you know, as the game has grown and progressed and changed, there have been a lot of really good quality of life updates. The game only just now starting to respect your time. I'm not going to even talk about the abomination of the expansions that Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands were, but there were a few aspects of the older versions of WoW that I do tend to miss. I feel like one of which in particular is how communal the game used to be where guilds mattered a lot more, there was a lot more server pride, guild pride, and you really got to become something greater than yourself. But I feel as though we may have turned the dial too much in the direction of solo play, because it seems like as I'm trying to find a guild, getting ready for the War Within, a lot of guilds only have like one or two people online now. Okay, that's a niche. I gotta move my guild to uh, Dragonflight as well. We're gonna do that. We're moving my guild, the casuals, to Dragonflight. I'm not sure what is gonna be the server, but I'm gonna figure it out and we're doing it. Thank you, man. And it's such a jarring difference when you see that there's like 400, 500, 600 characters in the guild, but a lot of people are even opting just to go guildless. I mean, so much of the content you can do solo now when it comes to looking for group. And I believe that the third party add-ons have also kind of run rampant too. I also miss the aspect of getting to explore Azeroth further, where you were just an adventurer in a larger world than yourself, and you were trying to help out how you could. I mean, with the recent expansions, you became the champion of Azeroth and the chosen one, and then you had to go to the afterlife in Shadowland. And the story has absolutely outgrown itself, which is strange because, you know, I've, I've never really been one for lore this is mainly a pvp channel but there is something about that immersion factor i think that that really does keep people playing these fantasy type of mmos it's that i was about to step on the rat i'm just saying you know people do want a good story people want to become part of a good story it's how games like dungeons and dragons have been so popular and you would think that the remedy would just be to play classic wow to play classic fresh to play cataclysm but I feel like fundamentally the community is shifted in a way that just cannot emulate how the game once was. Because now what you have is you have these people with the modern mindset playing the older expansions because of, you know, nostalgia or whatever. So that community aspect isn't really there even in the classic variants of the game mode, like Cataclysm or Sod, because you still have that business model of where you essentially have to treat the game as a second job when it comes to grinding and optimizing. 
And at the time, a lot of the resources weren't as readily available to tell you what exactly the optimum items and talents and gear was that you needed to milk every single damage point out of a boss. Something I've really been enjoying whenever I'm bored and I'm playing on retail, I really don't feel like sweating too much, is I do like to coach new players in PvP. And some of the best people to talk to are the casual dads that play this game because of how much fun they're still able to have while being so carefree about everything. It's almost like they possess that childlike wonder that you would expect players like myself to because I, st I am a zoomer. But I guess my main concern with the World Soul Saga is that even though we are still on Azeroth, I'm curious as to how fanatical the overall storyline is going to be, because it's not like World of Warcraft can just kind of go back and retcon the bad expansions. I mean, I'm sure a lot of us wish they would. <laughs> like, if we could remove the previous two before Dragonflight and then... I feel like, I feel like World So Saga is going to be a good ending for World of, for World of Warcraft. It's going to be, it's going to answer a lot of questions and it's starting with that sword in the middle. Uh, probably it's going to answer some stuff about the Jailer, even though people don't want to see him, but maybe it's going to give, her, give us some insight what the fuck was the whole thing. Then like... Keep Legion. I have a good feeling about like the world. So Lords of Draenor, I think we would have a really good lineup. And I think another main point that separated the two eras of WoW is how important leveling was to the game. Unfortunately, when it comes to the modern expansions, you're kind of just rushed to max level because the developers, they spend so much time developing the in-game content. They want you to see it. They want you to get to it with as little resistance as possible. So leveling isn't really part of the game anymore like it used to be at least in cataclysm i'm still leveling my druid and i'm having a good time doing so because it's still somewhat important and meaningful to the game i can still do a lot of cool stuff while leveling whereas in retail nothing makes sense with the whole time walking where you just kind of pick an expansion and initially i thought it was cool but as battle for azeroth is sort of the default expansion that your character is pushed to I'm sure it can give a lot of players whiplash, and I wish World of Warcraft would do something that would appeal to new players to try and get them to come and join the game, because this has been a very awesome game over the years. But coming from the perspective of somebody who's played since 2008, I feel as though it would be foolish for myself to try to sell a game that I have a completely different perspective on because I have so many memories attached to it. If that makes any sense, because the new players, their experience with the game is not like ours. They never got to experience that older era for what it was. And that's why it's our task to welcome the new players, to make content that is introducing new players into the game and to constantly be able to show the new players what we have experienced and try to recreate it so that we can show to them actually why we love WoW, not just look like idiots who are playing one game like 20 years for no reason. This is the lens of how they are going to see the game. My concern with the World Soul Saga is that it's not made for new players to try and join. I really don't think there's any appeal in that regard. Granted, for us who've been playing the game for a while, it it's a very cool concept to keep us retained to the game or maybe to get old players to come back. And when it comes to the solution as to how we can share this game with more people and, and how to make it more enjoyable, I honestly don't know. Like, I wish I could come up with a really good, innovative solution here, but I don't know what that would even entail. I definitely think that gaming has changed over the years where newer games are generally more flashy or attractive, or, I don't know, have things like a battle pass ingrained in them. They're very instant gratification focused, which I know that a lot of game developers, they're trying to target for my age group, but I really don't think they're hitting the mark, just because every other game out there has those characteristics that's coming out. So I miss when WoW was more unique to itself. It definitely defined the MMO. It's one of the few games that still have subscription to play it. MMO genre and still is the most popular MMO. Well, I don't know, probably alternating between that or Final Fantasy. I don't know the numbers for sure. And I wish that the game would focus on what made it different, what made it unique, and what made it... The game subscription. ...fun. 
as opposed to trying to go all in on this sort of new audience because you will find a target audience for this older type of game a lot of millennials and a lot of gen x people really love this style of game and i think that you can still have a good time you can still have a lot of magic with it but it just feels like the soul of the game is missing i think i find that very ironic that we're about to go into the world soul saga and yet the game feels more soulless than ever i don't know man this is just a ramble video this is a little bit true the game feels soulless but i still enjoy it i cannot put into words why i enjoy it mostly because of the memories i have in it but my friends per that introduced me to the game let's say are not coming for the world so saga or not playing now so maybe i'm the idiot maybe i'm the idiot i don't know i really don't have any sort of like expected outcome and it's just my honest thoughts like i still do love the game i'm still going to play it but i do just kind of want to reminisce on the older dare i say better times because it seems as though as this game is moving forward the less of itself it's becoming I hope that the next expansion is fun and exciting, but at the same time I wish that the newer players could experience that same magic that us older players have been able to have over the years. Until next time though, this is Moon, signing out. I personally enjoy retail way more than, than classic WoW, I don't know why people are crying about it. I miss the old WoW community though, the whole gaming community. Two of Meta Gaming kill WoW for me, still playing it though. Community right now is super separate and super toxic. Like yesterday I was having a dungeon. The whole mechanic of the mob was sometimes it charges you and it pushes you, and it pushed one hunter from a ledge and because of that that hunter pushed a huge amount of mobs to us i managed to heal the guy the tank managed to taunt everything we killed everything without wiping and one dps one dps left and the tank tried to vote kick that hunter they didn't even gave a chance to the hunter to say what happened they thought that he pulled him on his own it's so toxic unnecessary toxic but you know let's go back to wow